see that bird? He just ran into that window. He just did it again. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Aww. Oh my god, he's gonna kill himself, dude. What's happening? What is going on? Oh my god! Dude! What do you want me to do? But we just pulled up to the airport and we decided to park on the side of the road. It might be a bad decision, it might not be. We'll have to wait and see. But it is a beautiful day out here. It just stopped raining. You've got this awesome little pond lake thing. And then that's the airport right up there. See, look, this guy's being courteous. He's even going to the other side of the road. He's not here to yell at us. I'll even wave to him. Hi. See? You see that? He waved back. Yeah, I know. I waved to him, too. So he knew I wasn't a sketchy-ass person. Yeah, exactly. He knew we weren't crackheads. That's all we're going for, not crackheads. We're not coming into this building. We're not coming into this building to do meth. He's actually going to write a police report because he was <laughs> sketchy-ass. Kids are going to the building. He's actually going to buy some meth to come back to the building and do it later. <laughs> He's going to get zip ties, duct tape. The whole nine yards. Bada bing, bada boom. Make sure you shut the door behind yourself. But this was one of the hangar rooms inside of here. That bird, oh yeah. <laughs> you see that bird? He just ran into that window. He just did it again. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Aw. Oh my god, he's gonna kill himself, dude. What's happening? What is going on? Oh my god, dude. What do you want me to do? He's gonna fuck. Here, how about we just leave the room and maybe he'll calm down. Let's just get out of here. We'll come check this out later. Dude, there's so much broken glass in here, it's crazy. Hey, this looks like another giant hangar room. And this place also housed a 1,200 person auditorium in it, which is super dope. And this is where that would have been. It looks like, it looks like they were trying to do something with this building over here. Oh, dude, Nev, look how nice these doors are. Oh my god. These look so cool. But yeah, look, there's a giant fireplace right here. I'm not gonna go step over here because of all the water, but that fireplace is awesome. I love the light fixtures they had in here too. These are super cool. You don't see these a lot. This was kind of cool. I saw this last night. Just a box of cleaning supplies and then whatever these are. But I'll go on the stage of the auditorium and show you guys what it looks like a little bit behind the curtains. Back here you got another great view of just all the scenery around this place. It is so beautiful. The big open field with the sun, the water. So this is the auditorium. Or I guess the stage, I should say. And this is what it would look like when you're back here doing a show, whatever. I don't know what the hell I just stepped on. But these are some of my favorite parts. You might have heard me and Keaton talking about them before. It's like wood tiles like this. Especially, they use them a lot in the like auditoriums for schools. It is super cool. These are the stairs that had all the salt on them, which is just kind of weird. Oh my gosh, guys, the view is so incredible. Oh, that's a fucking big spider. Oh, baby. Oh, that's a, oh. Ooh, the view's not that beautiful. Fuck that. I'm going back down. Oh. I don't fuck with spiders. There's two things I'm terrified of. One is spiders. Two, this is oddly specific, but it's little dead girls in white dresses. Not for me.
I am in love with this set of doors right here though. Those look so nice. And here's a front shot of the stage for you guys. Super cool. And one thing you guys might notice about this place is it's not tagged up a lot with graffiti. So I mean, just not a lot of people have been here. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's graffiti, but it looks like it's all from the same person. It's all the same color. We're gonna go up here now. I think this is where the control room was. Oh, yep, I see the truck. This kind of sucks. We have to hide a little bit until all these cars pass. Because this place is so exposed, there's nothing around it. So this is just the rooftop of this place. Again, another fucking incredible view. Like, my god. Ooh. I don't know if there's anything under that. We're gonna chill for a sec. So this right here, what you're seeing, is just the airstrip that goes down that way for about 4,500 and some change in feet. All right, I'm gonna go up on the control tower level with Nav. Got this little spiral staircase that goes up another flight. I don't even know. Oh, it's a giant light. It's a massive light. This is so cool. This is awesome, man. This is where people would do like the air traffic from, is just right up here. And then they have like that gorgeous view of the lake right there. I know. You really can't beat this job. God, just imagine getting to work here. This is your version of coming to work. I want to try to get up that ladder right there. Oh shit. Vape break? Vape break. If I can get him on my pants. Don't do your nails and then go over next morning. Oh god, where the fuck did you have? Oh, it's over here. Alright. <laughs> Let's see how sketchy this ladder is. It doesn't go up that high. It's not like we're climbing super far. Oh, we could even go out right here. Here, hold this for a sec. Is it recording? Yeah. Hello, people. My name's Nevada. Find me on TikTok at Bando Babe. Post urban exploring stuff, little clips. It's pretty cool. Also, fun stuff. Like uh, beating Anthony's ass, so check it out. Dude, this ladder is so sketchy. I'm literally shaking this thing. Fuck that. I'm watching the stuff that is in wobble. No, not worth it. But I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty cool to come out here. Oh, fuck. oh shit. Coming back in. Oh fuck. Oh, fuck. Maybe they'll think it's a ghost. A ghost? Yeah, they just saw a ghost in there. I think it. Alright. I fucking hate people, damn it. You want to go to that next building? Yeah. Alright. So we are about to head over to the second building of this airport. This is where the terminal is, and that's all I really know. I don't know what else is over there, so it's kind of a surprise for me, too. I'm looking forward to it. But we'll see you there. That's the way the terminal is. You want to go that way? Yeah, this is where the terminal would be. Just make sure this doesn't lock behind us or anything. Okay, let's do that. Better safe than sorry. Actually, I got this. Ew, I got that liquid all over me. Disgusting. So these are what looks like offices, and oh, here's the big warehouse. Super cool. This would be the workshop when this place was turned into a manufacturing plant for an aerospace company. 
So this would be where all of that manufacturing went down and they left a bunch of stuff here, guys. Check out this old truck, this is super cool. Oh, God damn. <laughs> Look at this thing. Looks like, what is this? Is this the cab to a truck right here? Oh my god. This thing has definitely seen some better days. Holy shit. Wow. Check this out. That's super cool. Look at all the machines they left. I mean, I'm not going to pretend like I know anything about these, but these have to be like somewhat expensive, right? All of this was just left here by the previous owner of this place. Watch your fingers. Oh, no way. This thing is sick. Dude, I want to take this thing out for a ride. Are you kidding me? Look at this thing. What? Fix this bad boy up. Get to cruising. Cruising for a bruising. So maybe I was wrong. Maybe this isn't the terminal. Because this does not look like a terminal at all. If you guys have ever been to an airport, you would know what a terminal looks like. Oh my god, those birds scared the shit out of me. Hello. What's going on, boys? Oh shit, you are coming awfully close, brother. Okay, I'm going to step out of your home. Hey banana boat cool this is kind of sick oh it's plastic still looks pretty awesome oh. if your name's Clark you gotta come here and come get this you have just barrels upon barrels of stuff left I'm gonna go challenge the birds again. I wanna see what's in here. Oh, it's a different one. Huh. I wonder what this is for. Hmm. So a dude rolled up right in front of the building and got out of his car. He's like an older gentleman. And he got out and he was just standing there and he was doing one of these and he was looking at me right through the window. And I don't know if he actually saw me or not. So we decided to just walk out and start going down the airstrip and see if he said anything to us. And he never said anything, so we're just gonna assume everything is okay. But let's go by the water. This is what the airstrip is. A lot of it's overgrown, but what's kind of cool is they still use this by having people come and they can fly like their RC drones and stuff over here. So this airstrip does, does still get used and people fish in this lake right over here as well. So people do come through here. I can't necessarily say anything about going into the buildings, but they really are just wide open. And you can see what's super cool that I love just seeing from the outside is just that fucking control tower, boys. Look at that. That's where we were when we were seeing all that cool stuff and those cool shots was right up there at that control tower. It's freaking awesome. All in all, coming here, guys, I'd be lying to you if I said there's a lot to see because there isn't, but it doesn't take away from how cool it is. It's still super unique and super interesting in its own aspect to come here to a small town airport that used to be owned, it was privately owned by one farmer who built it himself. And I think it's just a magnificent story and there's still some beauty left to be seen here. But as for the Nartran airfield, I feel like that about sums it up. I think we saw what we wanted to see and it was definitely worth it. So if you guys can get out here to Reed City, Michigan, check it out. But peace.